Welcome back, Bowling World fans. We got a package from Brunswick, so let's go ahead and open up this box, see what we've got. So this box actually came yesterday. I was pretty busy right off the beginning of the day, and I finished up pretty busy. So I didn't get to open this yet, but let's go ahead and use our handy dandy screwdriver to open this up. And if I'm correct, these are the new Hammer Raws. So I went ahead and ordered myself the Hammer Raw Black Solid and the Purple Pink Silver Pearl. So, let's see. Let's pull them out of the box. Let's see what they look like. All right, so we have the Hammer Raw Black Solid and the Hammer Raw Purple Pink Silver Pearl. So let's go ahead and talk first about the Hammer Raw Black Solid here. Let's go ahead and unbox it. Let's see what this ball looks like. Obviously, all black ball. Uh, reason why it's called the Black Solid. Let's go ahead and pull this out of its bag, out of its box. Ooh, and I really like the finish on this ball. The 3000 finish that a lot of us have seen in the past with hammer bowling balls. But this thing looks really nice, really clean. Nice long pin, I like that, I like that. But this ball is in the lower mid performance range for the hammer line. It's the color black, as you can obviously see. see uh, it is the new raw hammer core that is a symmetric core with the juiced solid cover stock. Finished off at 500, 1500, and 3000 Sayer. The description that Hammer puts out for it is for medium oil condition. So you'll probably see this more on house shots. Uh, it'll probably be good on those sport patterns that are a little bit shorter or the longer length with less volume patterns. And the RG for a 15 pound bowling ball specifically is 2.537, so really high RG and a differential of 0 0.038 so a lot lower of a differential on this bowling ball let me see what other bowling ball we have here that would relate to it all right so the differential on this ball is actually just a tad bit lower than the outlook solid outlook solid was actually a ball that i really really enjoyed uh so i'm gonna kind of use that to be able to lay this ball out uh probably the same thing with this one but yeah this ball looks really nice. That's all the specs. This ball will just probably be a little bit smoother, a little bit more rounded off in shape, but I'm super excited about getting this drilled up. Let's go ahead and pull out the purple, pink, silver, pearl and see what that's all about. Oh my God, this looks actually really, really nice. Uh, but for this ball, we have, again, it's in the lower mid performance range, just like all the other rods are gonna be. But this ball has the purple, pink, silver colorway going on. And then we have the raw hammer core, which is a symmetric core once again, with the juice pearl cover stock, finished off at 500, 1,000, 2,000 uh, with crown factory polish. And then the RG for a 15 pound bowling ball is the same as the hammer raw solid black. Uh, so it's at 2.537 and differential at 0 0.038. So obviously all the rods are going to have the same RG and differentials. Uh, but realistically, it's all about the covers. This cover being a higher grit surface dull will allow the ball to pick up a little bit sooner and be a little bit more rounded off. Well, I expect this ball to be the one that goes a little bit cleaner through the lane and come off the spot a little bit stronger. Super excited about drilling these up. Let's see what we can do layout wise on these and let's get to it. All right, so I think the layout that we're gonna go with on both of these balls, because they're similar in numbers to my Outlook Solid, which is one of my very favorite balls in the lower mid range. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do 65 by four and a half by 45, uh, just to give these balls something a little bit more controllable when it comes down to it. It's gonna be a little bit of a stronger layout when it comes to the actual front and back number. Uh, but with these balls, I think this will be perfect. So we're gonna go 65 by four and a half by 45. And again, you can't really go wrong drilling a solid black bowling ball. Uh, solid black balls have notoriously been known for being some of the best bowling balls on the market. So keep that in mind whenever you're going into the shop looking for these balls, that these balls will definitely be something special. Let's go ahead and mark out our fingers. Which again, we're at two, or three and a quarter over by two up. So here we are right here. Mark out the finger center line. Bada beam. And let's draw out our bridge, which I've been doing an eighth inch bridge on all of my stuff lately. All right. There we go. We'll go ahead and mimic this onto the pearl ball now and get to drilling them here in a couple minutes. Okay. 
It has been about a week or so since I drilled the balls. Uh, I've been really busy in the shop and the ball incident has been really busy. So I haven't really been able to get out, get some videos of the balls themselves. I have thrown them a couple times now, but here they are. Again, we have the raw pearl and the raw black solid. This is the pink, purple, and silver version of the pearl. And these have rolled really good. I'm gonna show you guys what they can do. We're using lane 19 only today. And we're gonna do five shots with a solid, five shots with a pearl. Hope you guys enjoy it and I'll give you guys my personal thoughts on it while we kind of throw them. The raw black solid is extremely smooth, really early, really, really smooth off the spot. It's definitely gonna be the ball that I can get a little bit further left. It's basically my step up from here. I'll be able to go for like a pattern. If I need to go to the reactor present ball, this will be the ball that I go to right above all my urethane pieces. So my black hammer, my poker hammer. Definitely one of those pieces I'll be using in league a lot. So a few more shots of that and get into it. I'm gonna move a little bit right uh, just to make the adjustment off of that last shot. Let's see what I can do. Alright, yeah, no, that's definitely a lot better. We moved about three or four boards right. Uh, kept my target the same. I'm always roughly about the same target in this house just because the friction kind of breaks down in the same spot. Uh, but definitely really smooth off the spot. I'll throw one more shot with that in this frame. And uh, then we'll get into the pearl. Purple pink pearl. Really good looking ball. Uh, this is probably the sexiest ball hammer has made in a couple years. I like the pink that they use. It's like the black little pink pink. I do this ball. This ball was very versatile. I was able to play straighter. I was able to get in and get really, really get the length. But I'm gonna go ahead and get a few shots in with it and see what we can do here. left see what we can do uh, it definitely comes off a little bit stronger off the spot when it comes to how much it reads but it's definitely a lot a lot cleaner so tighten up my angle a little bit see what we can do but I mean by My swing may try, it really got through with my fingers. And as you can see, all 10 down. Alright guys, and that is the Hammer Raw Solid Black and the Hammer Pink Purple Pearl. By the way, this ball, minimal retail price, $93.99. That is the lowest price point bowling ball for a low performance, not an entry level, a low performance bowling ball. All the other low performance bowling balls are anywhere from $99.99 plus. So keep that in mind, this is absolutely a game changer. These balls outperform for the price tag that they've been given. Let me know what you guys think about it whenever you do get it. And we're gonna see you guys a lot more here in the next few weeks. Let's get it.